Hey there, so you know I rely on real foods, things that grow in nature um, to balance our gut and to get us, you know, pretty much in the best neutral possible. And then from there, you might see if you need sort of supplements or anything to help you depending on what's going on in your life. Um, particularly for perimenopausal and menopausal women that are dealing with hormonal issues. There can be some supplementation that can help. In my case right now, this summer, um, I realized I need a little extra collagen. And people mistakenly use collagen um, thinking, oh, it's gonna help my hair and my skin and my nails. It's really the antioxidants from your fruits and vegetables that are the building blocks of collagen, just to be super clear. So eating collagen doesn't make collagen in your skin. It's just an amino acid like many others, but it can really help you with the repair of your joints. It, it helps on a lot of levels. It can help with your gut um, and gut balance and all sorts of good things that really um, benefit you. And I was noticing some issues with my joints and so I thought I'm gonna try this. So, so I've been making this little drink in the summer and I, you know, I always multitask. Well, there's no multitasking, but I like to get mo more bang for my buck. So I generally do it with matcha and I do it before my workout. This has been a little mid-morning snack for my late morning workout. That's kind of how it's been working out this summer that I'm working out in the late morning, which is unusual for me. But if um, there are about seven small studies, small, I wanna say, but that matcha can increase your fat burn in a workout by up to 25%. So um, whether this is accurate or not, I like to, you know, I'm big on science and I can't say how reputable these seven studies I found are, but if it's accurate, awesome. And even if it's not accurate, still awesome because maybe there's the placebo effect from your brain, but also because matcha is truly one of the absolute most nutritious plants. It's just ground, uh, you know, green tea leaves. And there are so many benefits for your body. And I've done many videos on that. I won't bother with it now, but I'm going to show you the fastest way to make this collagen matcha drink that you could have as a pre-workout um, kind of boost and snack or a post-workout snack because we're using oat milk, which um, will replace your electrolytes much better than something like Gatorade or something like that. So put a little bit in the bottom. Now these are my one cup um, jars I use to make my breakfast, like my chia seed puddings or my overnight oat recipes or Bercher muesli or something like that all in the End Life app. If you don't know what I'm talking about, millions of videos of these on YouTube too. Um, and then you put in your two scoops of your um, collagen powder. I use vital proteins because these animals are properly sourced. Super important with collagen because if you are not getting your collagen from a reputable brand that cares about how these animals are raised, there is a, a high possibility of getting heavy metals in the collagen and you do not want to be adding that to yourself on a daily basis that will really upset your system and then with the matcha now i prefer joya matcha i do have this on my website in the shop on Anne life because i love these joya products because they add adaptogens this is their turmeric i'm out of their joya matcha right now and their matcha has moringa in it that's an adaptogen that's a plant that essentially um works with your brain to help with mood balance. And again, we're always looking for hormonal balance. I'm 50, so you know um, I'm in a phase where I can definitely use some help with that little extra help. Um, just like everybody else, I am human. And while I'm pretty even keeled, when I have to tell my kids to do things too many times, I'm a little less patient now than I used to be. <laughs> Anyway, so we're going to just take one like little scoop, and this is my little uh, um, teaspoon for my matcha, and I'm using dough matcha. This is just straight matcha. Again, it's not my favorite, not like, um, it's great, really high quality, but I love the Joya products, and you can get them at a discount on my shop. And then I'm going to use a half pack of stevia. Um, stevia is uh, a plant, it's just crushed up, it's very sweet and half is plenty for me. I will just tuck that away. And then we're gonna add more oat milk on top of it. So we do it at the bottom and on top because the collagen has um, 
a stickiness to it that um, can kind of like make it hard to shake up in your jar. I like to do it this way because matcha is really hard to blend. When I make matcha lattes in the afternoon, if you've seen any of my videos on that, I use it actually as a meditation because I'm high energy and it's something that um, you really have to concentrate to not spill as you swirl around. You use this special brush and it's one of my ways of, you know, honing in in the afternoon and kind of giving my brain a reset. Um, I'm big on little strategies. I call it, um, you know, ritualizing your habits and you're training your brain basically to be able to concentrate and focus and um, shut off that fear and anxiety center immediately. So you see, this is awesome. I have now one cup serving. I didn't have to measure a thing. Uh, nothing is sticking to the bottom because I put it in first. And so that's my hack on making a great little... Um, mid-morning snack or post post pre or post workout snack tastes delicious you could make this ahead of time and take it with you um, my sister-in-law is a teacher at school and I suggested she make one of these for the mid-morning you know and also my chia seed pudding recipe so you'll end up with a couple jars in your little uh, refrigerated bag and be able to get through the day I think a lot of people can use that kind of help so okay I'm about to get to my workout. We're gonna do some Pilates today, so maybe you'll end up seeing that video too.